Boys, fellas, dudes around the world, what's good? Today we're reacting to some defensive tackle ratings in Madden 23. These are the official ratings. We've been reacting to ratings throughout the entire week. So if you haven't seen them, some of them are wild. Now, uh, do we just warn the people right away what the heck's going on with the yeah, ratings? So they did edge rushers as their own category. So you're going to see Aaron Donald Wait. as a right end. What? Wait. What? You need to apologize because 8.4% of our viewers are female. That wasn't me. Can Thank you, ladies. I had I nothing to do with Thank any you. of that. Thank right, you. God, continue. Anyway, I'm so sorry. It, no, that that's good. Um, <laughs> and they have like Cam Hayward as a right end. So, so what Joe's trying to and say Miles is... And Miles Garrett. So there's going to be people on this list that we already talked about. That's a, right. We're going to kind of skip over them, but we have to show those people in order to show the other new ones. Yes. So they showed some right ends yesterday, and now they're showing some other ones now. Yeah, only a couple, though. Only a couple. We're yeah. talking Cam Hayward and Aaron Don. I don't know if there's going to be anybody else. It's confusing. They primarily play on the inside. Yeah. But technically, their position in Madden is a right yeah. end, even though they're not an edge rusher. EA's a little weird. They're an interior rusher from the edge. <laughs> All right, so number one, Aaron Donald. Yeah. Wait, number one. What? So, Dude. Was that, it six years in a row? I was yeah, going to say that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Holy yeah. crap. Is that Which, the first ever? Like, probably is a record. That has, that has I don't think that's ever been done before. You know I don't even know not even Brady. That's what I'm saying. I, don't, I think four is even. Yeah. Well, four, well, four's probably been done. What about Brady? No. Well, I mean, like, Brady hasn't been for a bit. He's been 99, yeah. but he is not, not in a row. Because I was... Yeah, Dang. no. Dude, it's Maybe a, Brady. Yeah. No. I like that he no, wears probably not. The there was a trip back in the so. day. Not in a row. Brady, if I remember, he kind of got ripped off he, the yeah. majority of the time. Yeah. Dang, he was always crazy. Top. Six years in a row. Yeah. yeah. 99 overall. And hey. he wears number 99. Out, out of pit, cool. too. Let's go, AD. Not only all day, baby. Pit, born and raised in. Born yeah. and oh, raised. Oh yeah. You know how we know that because we have four billboards all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have billboards there, um, everywhere. <laughs> Ninety-nine strength. Obviously, yeah. that's his biggest thing. Obviously. Awareness. Mm -hmm. Awareness. Ninety. I wish they would show important stats instead of the stupid kicking stuff. Yeah, I know that. I know. Like they're, they're bugging. That's laziness. Did you guys see the skit they made about Aaron Donald? Where it was like when you're one on one with Aaron Donald. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Uh, from Dockery. Yeah, that was yeah. funny. Yeah, right. So, good. all right. So, number uh, uh, Miles Garrett's coming next. We might guess, just scroll down the list. Yeah. We talked about Garrett. We talked about both. These are the edge right because Cam Hayward. Cam Hayward, yeah, number two though. That's crazy. That's to me. awesome. This is like the first Steelers player because I feel like all the Steelers players that we're talking about are lower than we think they should be. Yeah. He's higher than I think he should be. be. Yeah. yeah, he had well, a really maybe. good season. He did His best but, season ever. But I think, no, I think he's right where he should be. Oh, 98. He might be or a wait, little wait, high. 93, 93. 93. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 93. But is he the second? He's oh, best. Fourth. Well, well, that's the thing. That's the thing, though. What are we comparing it that's to? That's what I'm saying. I don't. He's digressing, because, though. Because he plays on the inside of the He's more of a of defensive, defensive tackle. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Whether they want to put his position at right end or not. I'm not comparing him to Nick Bosa. I mean, he pretty much almost does what Aaron Donald does. Yeah. Not as not anywhere near as good. Let's be real for a second. No. Like, shout out Cam Mary, you're sick and all, bro. I can't believe he's still doing what he's doing at his age. I know. That's, That's, That's so impressive. Like, this is one of the few players that late down their career is going mm -hmm. up and overall. Yeah. You just don't see it ever. Yeah, for sure. And I want to give him credit because I know a lot of people are like, oh, you guys got TJ Watt to help him out. Like, yeah, of course we had We didn't always Watt, have TJ Watt. Mm -hmm. But... Cam he can around, handle dude. some stuff on his own. The like, we've seen him. TJ Watt, a lot of the time, goes to the outside, where he's more of, like you guys said, an interior kind of guy. So, Run I mean, yeah, stuffer he at has times. Help, he's had a good amount of sacks who last does, who year. Who doesn't have help? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. facts. You know? So, where I'm surprised at, I, the next player, Vita Vea, I think yeah. got incredibly disrespected. Yeah, he yeah. should be higher. Yep. He yeah. is, well, first off, he's the highest defensive tackle in the game. 98 strength. I think he should be the highest by quite a long shot. Yeah. First off, why does he not have 99 strength? That's that's stupid. Because you can't give it to two uh, yeah, people. I, was say, I mean, like, you can. You, you can. can you can. We How got many people, people have 99 speed? Dang, Miles Garrett doesn't have 99 strength. Yeah, he does. No, I'm he's got 96 yeah. strength. That's what you're talking about. I'm talking about Miles Garrett. Yeah. I hate Miles Garrett. <laughs> I don't like him, but Here, scroll. I mean, you, you can't scroll. deny it. He's freaking oh, jacked. Yeah, he's, he's jacked. He's jacked. Um, Jonathan Allen. Jonathan Allen is really good, too. I think Vita Vea is a step above everybody. Yeah. He just has that skill. He's like massive. He is the... Sh I think he's the strongest player in the whole NFL. He got hurt last year, right? And you kind of seen... Did I he? thought he got hurt. I don't, uh, I, I don't recall that or not. It's oh. possible. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I really would put Vita Vea like I think he has to be at least a ninety-five rating. Yeah. 
I agree. Wow. He's sure. good. I really sure. do. I think Jonathan Allen might have been a 92 in Madden 22. So or, a ni- or a 90. I think he might have went up a little bit. I was say, it's kind of messed up to keep him the same. It's not, no. But he was, he was somebody... I mean, he actually... Is probably the commander's best defensive player. Yeah, I agree. In my opinion, Chase their, their defensive line is <laughs> their defensive line with their edge rushers with Montez Sweat and Chase Young and Jonathan Allen kind of makes them like top three bare minimum best defensive yeah, but what lines last in year? the game. Chase Young. What do you mean? Hurt. They didn't. Oh, okay. They weren't that good last year. Well, like as their offense, whole, saying, they're like, all, I mean, no defense. They had I'm talking Kiek. defense. Yeah. They they were a let, they were a letdown. They yeah, were a letdown. That's what I'm saying. They definitely were. The defensive line though. Madden terms should be like great, especially with the ability. Jonathan Allen has inside stuff too. I'm sure he has it again and this Vaughn year. Von Miller, we already talked about with the edge rusher. Yeah. So mm. Chris Cameron Jones, 91. Yeah, just go ahead and scroll down some more. These are the last two. Like yeah. a monster though. Yeah, Chris Jones, 91, and Buckner at a 91. It's crazy how low these defensive tackle ratings are. Yeah. But at the same time, is a 91 low? That's like still he's still going to be an X factor now. So Chris Jones is oh, one. I, I remember Chris him. Jones in Madden being around a ninety four. I don't know if that was last year or in twenty one, but he, mm. he he's been slowly going down. Wait, Buckner did. had an insane season. I think that's low for Buckner. I actually think Buckner now should be ahead of Jones. Do defensive tackles get X factors this year? No. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Donald will have them. Like yeah. an like an X factor. Yeah, next because like, it's just offensive linemen that can't get them. Oh, so oh, Aaron, Aaron Donald a yeah, right end in the game? game. Right end in the game. Right I end. never knew that. Right end. Dang, so yeah. does like Chris Jones and DeForest Buckner get an X factor at a 90-91 overall? Super See, solid. I think Chris right. Jones... Because they, because everybody else above them would also have to. Ah oh man, not no. necessarily. I don't think they would. I don't think they would. I think superstar I think, maybe. I yeah. think they. Ooh, that's a tough one. I think Buck. That's the weird thing. I think Buckner should definitely have one. I don't know if I think Chris Jones should definitely. I wonder if they're going to have like a release of all that. Where's the cutoff? Like I feel X like factors. Cameron Hayward or Vita Vea would be like the cutoff for X Factor. Right. Did Cameron Hayward have an X Factor in Man mm-hmm. Twenty Two. They, well, they gave him one later in the year. Oh, okay. Uh, then he's whenever he was really doing good, yep. he should. Still it was kind of surprising. Like it actually shocked me. It shocked most people that they actually gave him one. But I could also see Jonathan Allen and Von Miller getting one. Yeah, I mean it's okay for multiple. Like, is but there is, is there a cutoff where, like, in many, overall, no. where you can't get an X factor? Like, well, you have to be at least uh, the ninety range to get the X factor. Well, no, get an eighty nine overall get an X factor. No, but I'm saying like, the Force Buckner can't have, or like, it can't be like the Force Buckner has one and Cameron Jordan doesn't, because Cameron Jordan's rated higher well, than him. Those are two p- different positions, though. Okay. Well, Jonathan Allen and DeForest Buckner, same thing. See, I don't necessarily know if that's the case, if that should be the case. I don't know if it is. I don't know how they do it. Because I I think X Factors is like a name brand thing, too, honestly. Like, I think it is, too. But I would be upset if, like, if I'm Jonathan Allen, I'm a 92, I'm rated higher than DeForest Buckner, but DeForest Buckner has an X Factor. I think an X Factor, you should have to be like a 95. Like, it's an X Factor. You shouldn't shouldn't be. You don't want to just throw out X Factors. That's just OP at that point if everybody's getting X Factors. Right. I mean, on the other hand, there are certain X factors that go with specific skill sets. So if Buckner had this specific skill set that went perfectly with an X factor and maybe say Chris Jones didn't, I could see why he yeah, would have superstars one. have you could do that the, the superstar abilities honestly matter more than yeah. the X factor itself. You have to earn the X factor. It's not easy all the time to get it. But the yeah. superstar ability, there's so many good superstar mm-hmm. abilities. That's really the important part. Let's go on to list two here. Sorry, we have to filter through like a lot of these. We talked about think Lawrence. Demarcus Lawrence is too high, but oh, really? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. I actually no, I'm cool with a 90 for Lawrence. He had a great season last year. No, 90. I'm, it's okay, but like when we talked about, I think he was in the top 10. I think I think I wouldn't have had him. You don't think he's he top 10? I can't. No, I think he's lower, top 10. It's an old video, but I that's, think uh, he should have been lower than what right. he was. Uh, so we got Kenny Clark, Fletcher Cox, pretty good season in there a little bit. And eh? Kenny Clark is—I sl- didn't think Kenny Clark was Clark was that slow. Sixty eight is kind of disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. But then again, again, if you're like on the defensive line, it's just you don't have to chase anybody down. Really, you're yeah. just filling gaps. Fletcher Cox, good season from him. It's kind of a dump yeah. off here now, honestly. Yeah, the, the dump off. I don't know if we got. I don't think we got to talk about Jeffrey Simmons either. He's a bigger guy for sure. No, we didn't. The, he he is a right end also. So oh wait, we're just skipping, I guess. All right, sick. Well, you mentioned a name. I'm trying to find him. He was, he was on, on that there. list. Oh, I thought you said he wasn't. I thought you said we haven't seen him. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I meant oh, like right there, I meant, dude. He's right there. Yeah, thanks, Joe. I meant we had it. We didn't see him whenever we were reacting to the yeah. edge rusher. It's no. basically 50-50. Like if you look at the top ten, five of them were people we've already seen previously. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think my, Michael Pierce actually got a pretty good upgrade. Him and Calais Campbell. Bump my boy De'Aaron Payne up. You think? The Deron Payne. <laughs> what I say, De'Aaron? Yeah, that's De'Aaron. All right, bet. JJ? Wow, they uh, have Payne also. Watch. Holy freaking defensive yeah. line! Mother frick, their well, worst guy's Montez Sweat. He has, he's the fastest edge rusher in that. He has 91 speed. That's insane. So are you saying really Super Bowl? <laughs> Not with Carson. Mother Wentz. frick, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know that the quarterback's an issue. That defensive line, that might be. Is that the top? De- let us know. Is that the top defensive line in the game? Because, like, think about the defensive wow. lines right now. Who. Wicked Bucks have they have pretty good four one. guys. Well, the Ravens saying. have four two guys. right there: Michael Pierce and Clay's Campbell. Yeah, but the but it kind of, and they have Zadaria Smith too. I guess Rams don't have Von Miller anymore. Where's Chase Young at? He's probably still lower. Keep scrolling. I guess. Uh, yeah, keep like scrolling. Eighty six. I think he's on the next. Keep page. scrolling. Keep on. Net. Yeah, you might have to go to the page four or five. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not like yeah, it's, it's it, fine. It, it, it is where it is, you know. Wait, isn't? I thought Trey Hendrickson was a rookie. Trey Hendrickson? I mean... No. I think this is... Is, is this coming who into was, his third year or his second no, year? Who was the guy who just so. got drafted by the Bengals? The You're, offensive line? You are thinking of Trey Hendrickson, but he he played last year. He was he was pretty good. He, he was on the... He, I mean, he's yeah. their best defensive lineman. But... Quentin Williams kind of always been around the same. I'm assuming he's going to be star still. He, I think he's always been kind of star. Grady Jarrett's there. That's yeah. another right end that we didn't get to talk about yeah. uh, right there. And, oh, there's speed. Hendrickson right there, TJ. Right. Okay, so there are some other, like Akeem Hicks we didn't get to talk about. Wow, Akeem <laughs> Hicks is still <laughs> playing, huh? Yeah. What, wait, what, what's so funny? What no, he said there is right there. That's why he was talking about him. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's fair. I, my bad. You seem like you couldn't think of his name or something. Just that's why I was <laughs> scrolling. He just can't read. That's all. <laughs> so Akeem Hicks, what, takes over for Nadalmik and Sue, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Oh, where's Sue at? Is he on a team? I don't even know. Is he? Is, is he, he done? I don't know. He might be done. He might have retired. I think he might have. He's retired. old as dirt. If he plays, he's playing for the it. Buccaneers, right? Like, where else is he gonna go? He's not on the Buccaneers. I know that. Then he's in free agency. Oh, and then the Bears got DJ Reader, also Javon Hargrave. Remember when he was on the yeah. Steelers? He kind of like started popping off after he left. Actually, yeah, that's good. He was kind of decent his last year with us, and then started going kind of crazy out 84. there a little bit. 84, so that's... Fletcher Cox. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. 84 for him. I don't know. Do we want to go one more? Just skim it real quick? No, just cut it here, dude. I just want to Better. mention, if you get to, like... I don't know if there's just anybody that's, like, crazy. Like, some young guy. Oh, that's, so he's, oh. He's, Alu, Alu. Alu, Alu. He Alu. was out. Oh, man. He's such an important piece of the Steelers defense. He was out. Ed Oliver. Okay. Yeah. I guess he hasn't really lived up to the hype as much, but no. that might be a little bit low for him, too. Dang, dude. Go back to page Actually, number two. Wow. Page two. Yeah, dude. I I noticed something pretty crazy. Page two. Pretty crazy. If you scroll down to Calais Campbell. Okay. Oh wow. And Arik Armstead. They both have oh. Eric Armstead? Yeah. Yeah. They both oh, have <laughs> <laughs> They both have thirty <laughs> kick accuracy, the highest out of any defensive tackle. TJ, you're so observative, bro. I'm I'm really glad that you brought so that up. If you What's really if you really need if your kicker really gets hurt, you could sub in Clay's Campbell or Arik Armstead. Eric Armstead, please, and for heaven's sake. Win the game. Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, we'll okay, so the next one. Let me say, let me like put this into a. That actually is interesting because they have better kick power than like we talked about Kareem Hunt. Accuracy. Hunt, which is accuracy. He's great at him. kicking. He's great at kicking. And, this um, is accuracy. But his is 20, what, Four, 5, 26, 24. 24. Was that power or is that accuracy? Is this, this accuracy? This is accuracy. This okay, is accuracy. What's power? He he might still have power. Maybe not. You he he doesn't always kick the woman, but it's always powerful. <laughs> hit that air at the top. Oh right. my gosh! All right, we're getting carried away. We're getting carried away. We're gonna end things here. We got what's what's Corner left? Cornerbacks, baby. Cornerback. Cornerback. today. 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 We're releasing it probably. If three not, videos. No, it's it's coming today. Three videos. Oh, we're, we're releasing a three piece. Three. So three. be subscribed. Oh, yeah. Noties on. Drop a like. <laughs> and who the freaks ratings messed up the most? I want to hear. It. Whoa.